Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed 3. There we go, galloping. Horse stamina? Where is the horse's stamina? I guess we don't see its actual stamina, but... Gotta let it relax sometimes. Huntington, huh, hunting region, Lexington. Huh. All right. Just going to uh, go straight for the source, basically. Let's take the roads and not go up too many hills. Well, it looks like we're basically here. Alright. Found her. Uh, she's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. You should get gloves. Did they really not have the gloves at that time? We'll move faster on horseback. I'm oh. afraid I have some bad news, sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. Oh, a little path in the snow. I like that. I should... This... Uh, I don't know why I thought of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Probably because I recently watched someone play a bit of it. I don't... We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close. Bollocks. The tracks are fresh. They must be hers. Mm. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees. Wait, wait. Is T on anything? T -t 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 -t. I'm on, for those who don't know, I am on um, keyboard controls. T, recruit menu. If it's a menu, then it can be on V. That means T should be swapped for Eagle Vision. Snow is deep here. Sheesh is really, really deep. It's so big and deep. Oh, Lord. Hmm. Yeah, just let me do my thing, man. Look at this snow. I would love to have snow like that. Wow. I don't get mad snow where I'm at. What's my objective right now? 
Regain their trust. Huh. Find the mysterious woman. It's my objective. Okay. Oh, um, you didn't want to swing on that? I thought well, that was the perfect time to swing. To get swinging. It's not my fault he sucks. Dude, don't slow me down. You're kidding me. Yeah, don't do that again. Don't do something that you really cannot do. That's that's a little bug. Yeah, but it shouldn't be a problem. Oh I I'm tired. I plan to do uh, two more episodes after this though. Sorry, bud, but you had to die. Because you almost tried to murder me. Oh, no. Dang it. I, I must be really blind. Am I, am I really blind, guys? I'm so sorry. This is where we were before. Let's go around the full length. I don't see anything in that scope. Well, he'll catch up, I'm sure. Dude! <sighs> I hate missions where you have other people around you. Cause then they can get stuck on things. <sighs> like that's we we need to find this woman fast before it gets stuck on something else. I hate it when that happens. Jeez, it's a big area. Jeez. Seriously, how is she not in this area? She must be up here. I bet I've definitely bet she's up here. Area is huge. Good lord. Good dogs, keep away now. Good wolfies. Wolves are my spear animal though.
And a full round back, okay. Um. Huh. Do I need to Google this? <laughs> I really do not want to be searching for hours and hours on end. Okay, I've done a full circle, so I need to search in the middle of more. Some more, I guess. Other than that, there's nothing else for me to do. I can search a little on the eagle vision. Okay. Hold on. I I I have to I have to look this up. <laughs> I've pretty much done I've done a full circle and a half now, and I've searched through the middle area. Hold on a moment. Uh, I I'm I cannot I cannot. There you go. Follow the camp. away from the a trail away from the site. Leading a trail leading away from the site. Okay. I thought that was the horses though. So basically, we should go back to where we w were first. I believe this is it. Hold on, hold on a moment. Let me, let me follow this. So I don't think we made this. Oh my god. Wait here. Turn to Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious. I can handle things from here. But, sir! But nothing! Go! Stop running! I only wish to talk! Charles! I well, am not you're stupid. your enemy! Charles, Please so just stupid. Hear me out. Good lord, I hate Charles. I hate Charles Charles, so much. Woman, only let me speak! It's a much smaller search area here. Something that tells me I'll be able to do this a lot more easily. Hey look!
Mana, 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 mana. He wants me to keep searching this area. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's not here. Wait, what? Mysterious woman. Hmm. I have dual blades, awesome. Hello. Oh. Okay. Let me, let me just uh, head back then. Let me stick to stick to this edge now. This will be a proper area. Or not. Let me climb up here. Why not? It's just on the edge, but that's fine. the mysterious woman. I'll try. I can't promise you anything. You try my patience, woman! in the head? Me? Haytham? I come in peace. Why are you speaking so slow? I'm gonna hate you. Sorry. What do you want? Well, your name. The one. I'm Gadzi Zio. Well, pleased to meet you. God, God's day. Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. Dear. Now tell me why it is you here. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Where? Well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look, I am not the enemy. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak the truth. As you can tell, I'm not, um, very, um, very <coughs> trailing savvy. So sorry about that. 
That town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. What do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. But first, we have to find him. I don't trust you. I know. Yet you remain. That I might prove you wrong. It will not happen. So you say. Oh. Wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. I hope so. <laughs> you can't stand being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves. The sting of the salt in my eyes. And the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldog's putting together another expedition. Well, that's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. I hear tell the French are readying to move on our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before weeks end. I haven't done anything. Oi! Where are you going, Cully? Me? No, the other cock robin. Well, I, uh, I was leaving. Oh? And now? Well, now, I'm going to feed you your teeth. And you were worried I was going to be the problem? <laughs> She's so uninterested in this. Don't you just love when people are drunk and make stupid decisions? Good job there, guys. You're hurt. Oh, that's nothing. Here. This should stop the bleeding. wasn't necessary. But thank you. We should move on. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready. Shut up, bartender. Jeez. I don't care what you are. I'm not after you. Yet. Next objective. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? Yo, do, 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 do. Ah, what a fetito, what a fetito, what a fetito.
please go over you stupid stupid horse go over Damn it, game. Why can't you have a smoother controls? I know you're old and ancient, but jeez. Well, you're not ancient, actually. You should be doing better, better than this. Hunting region. There we go. Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. No, well, you get the easy job. Hmm. I can hide in that cart. Are you not cold sitting there? Jeez. I almost missed this. Wow. Whiskey, a couple dozen new uniforms, boots, leather for patching, blankets, a cart feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. Got a check in the back. Terrible, guys. This cart may very well Those be carrying you like to cause trouble perhaps I could sabotage them diplomatic solution was no solution at all that allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict one in which they now have the upper hand there's merit to those words as much as I hate to admit it still can't he see this is unwise it doesn't fit well with him either. we're far from home with our forces divided worse I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless it puts the men at risk I'd rather not be delivering Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north. Get back here, you bastard! I know, I know. Dang it! That's fine. I'll ch do it next. Or you could just fell me. Like some dumb BS. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Uh, that's not gonna happen, because that really is not possible.
Go in! Go in! Bastard. I need to pick up the body. I have to pick up the body, okay? Okay, let me drop the weapon over here so I can hold the game's hand and, and grab the body. There we go. Yay! Yay! Everybody wins now. as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't sit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The March North will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. Stealing is going to be interesting. So, Assassin's Creed 3, they've added a lot. A lot more than you would think. I really kind of want to leave those guys alive. Oh lord. Yeah, I'm not going that way. They seem friendly. They seem... One cares for the people. One called the other friend. It's, that's nicer than any other guard relationship I've ever seen. Ever. Ever. In the history of all time. Good lord, these freaking scared me. I thought I was being caught on to. Laddie. It's fine, it's fine. I just need to wait for him. Oh, it wants me to do things over there too. I'll get to it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry your pretty little head off. No. Please don't climb. That. Now. Why? Why not? There you go. Looks like, fun. So looks like the cannon sabotaging was optional, I guess. Wow. Okay. Don't let me shoot you, man. I really don't want to have to. <laughs> Do not kill your haha, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I was definitely going to kill guards. They're crazy. They're crazy. Let me just stay outside of their range and they won't, uh, they won't care. Ooh, 
What news? Braddock has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. <laughs> He's like, oh, I like, I like calling the shots. Say. I need to send word to my allies. So. Right here. And, um, how do I fast travel? How do I. I. What? I. I. Oh, I need to use the tunnels. Oh, freaking lord. I don't have a horse. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, we'll be able to skin those later. Just saying. It's not this deep here. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Cool water. Not freezing or anything. Not freezing my bowls off. Hey, buddy. Aww, adorable. Hey. Aww. Cats, I love cats. In a war of cats versus dogs, I'm a cat person. And I would help their side. I know. I just saw a shot. Ugh, I can't loot them. I mean, it's just useless for me to do that. I'm so sorry, dear. You shouldn't hunt what you don't plan on eating. And only hunt what is necessary. Of course, um, we don't live like that. I want me to just run with my blades out. If I slip and fall, I'm sure I won't accidentally kill myself. Yeah. Seriously, calm down. I know you're excited to hate them, but you need to calm down. Five months later, wow. That was a long wait. In the cold, cold ground. Here, here. Hard at work, I see. How did you? It is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen. Let us away. Oh, yay. Then they're only drunk is all. What's with that wind going up and up in the background to the left of the fireplace? Save it. First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. Well then, bring a fan. I saw any swamp, I tell you. Uh, just say nothing to the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? Huh. 
please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? Returned to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stop we pulled. Pleased to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Unless you've underestimated our enemy. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes. United in their desire to see Braddock sent away. All three of them? The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Well, you'll help the others to prepare. Follow. Wait, are you saying that to them, or me, or to both, or to neither? They come. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances. Awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why How we about die. the natives? Offer them one last chance. That's their the land. French will leave. Or they will die. See, I don't think he cares. Now's the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls. Else he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. We await your signal. The wood's too thick. At this rate, it'll be days before we reach Duquesne. We should follow the river instead. It's a good thing they can't see me. We are near 2,000 men. One scout is all they need to know of us. And then what? Swiftness would serve us better. Why are you still alive? I did the whole thing on you. <sighs> Die. You guys should have been way dead already. I'm, not, I'm very disappointed in you guys. Do it quickly. And without... I don't know. thing that guns are very very quiet in this. 
telling you, we packed the cart too high. How could anyone the ground is uneven, it's dangerous, hidden. It's all mud and bugs and monstrous things. Moving the whole thing is sure thing. to fall over. With the French push back, there'll be a lot of opportunities for us up north. Go French. You are grateful to have served. General! Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! <laughs> Sir. Where are you off to, Edward? It's like you intend to escape, but that can't be true, because you're destined to lose. Go, 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 you stupid dang horse. Jeez. I don't know why you suddenly just decided not to move anymore. I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Such arrogance. I always knew... It would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Don't. Hurry before he gets away. I said go! That's why you have a gun. <laughs> Besides, I don't think it's Haytham's way Haytham. to use the blade. Your death opens a door. It's nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. Farewell, Edward. It's done. Now I have upheld my part of the bargain. I expect that you will honor yours. Follow me. Sheesh. Cheer up a bit. Cheer up a bit. Oh, it's the wall from the very start of the game. Literally the first thing we see nearly with Desmond. No. No! You seem disappointed. 
I thought that I held a key that it would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. What does that mean? It tells the story of your Dizu, who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she has long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us. Her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us. And her love still gives us strength. You have shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I... I should go. I'm guessing a sudden, overwhelming rush of, um, happiness has overcome her because he helped solve all her problems and buzz. See, and she's decided, uh, well, I'm usually stuffy and, and angry all the time, but wow, everything is a lot better now, thanks to him. So, um, they, they gave a little kiss and I'm sure they walked away. <laughs> I'm sure they walked away. <laughs> Not at all. Master Kenway, did you find it then? It was not the right place. The others are waiting for you. Gentlemen, please sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the site eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Sleuth. Here, here. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Are any opposed? Very well. Charles, come, stand. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work. I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost. I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together, we will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. You? Are a Templar. Oh Lord. May the Father of Understanding guide us. A Templar. May the Father of Understanding guide us. The of understanding guide us. Wait, what? Yeah, they're Templars. Have you? Did you just now notice, man? Jeez, for sketch. Those were definitely not. You know. You all saw that, right? Wow. Well, indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep Shut it. up. I'll do as I please. Hey, he's your ancestor, too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response? It's like dealing with a six-year-old. 
What's what the, is wrong with you, Desmond? What's the date? You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. <clears throat> Don't you ever equate me to those bastards again. You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. Running out of right. time. Right, that was unusual. Well, I'm just going to pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. Any idea on where we can find replacements? <laughs> not yet, so... I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo database. Now, if I can cross-reference these particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, Desmond, we can either take a look around here or we can head back to the Animus. Much as I want to go into the Animus. What are you working on? Lots of different stuff. If you're going into the field, we need a way to keep tabs on you and stay in touch. Hacking into local security systems won't cut it. Thanks. For what? I don't know. Everything. You've sacrificed a lot for me. You and Sean both. I mean, you upgraded the Animus, you helped train me, pulled me out of that coma. You put all that work into the database, helped me solve Clay's puzzles. I know I haven't been the easiest person to work with, and I'm sorry for that. I just want you to know that even if I'm shitty at showing it, I appreciate everything you've done. Oh. You really think we'll finally get some answers down here? Maybe. Talking to the first Civ has always been a pain in the ass, though. Imagine what it must be like for them. What do you mean? They've been separated from us by tens of thousands of years. A completely different language and culture. Possessed of an intelligence vastly superior to our own. We're lucky they've communicated as much as they have. I don't know why they had to make this all so complicated. I mean, if they need something from me, they should just come out and say it. I've been wondering about that myself. I get the sense Juno and Minerva didn't exactly see eye to eye. I'm studying everything I can get my hands on. But maybe you'll find something down here that can shed light on the mystery. What happened between them, and why? What do you think's behind that door? No idea. Do you think it can save us? The first Civ seemed to think so. What if it's dangerous? It's not like we have a lot of alternatives. Well, we could... I don't know, warn the President? <laughs> and what's he gonna do? Who's to say he isn't in bed with Abstergo? Seems everyone is these days. What if we went to them? To Abstergo, I mean. I thought about it, actually. Showing them what we've seen, trying to work together. They must know so much more than we do, but... What is it? It's possible they know exactly what's going to happen. That they want it to happen. I mean, for all we know, they're hiding out in bunkers right now, waiting for the world to end. And then, when it's all over... Out they come, ready to take control. God, I hope you're wrong. So do I, Rebecca. Why are so you on I. speaker? All right, I should be getting back to work. Okay. Now that we're done with you. Mm. Oh, hey there, Dad. Yes. Just thought I'd, you know, say hi. You have more important things to do right now. <laughs> Jesus, Dad. What? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Hi, son. How are you? What have you been up to? 
I know what you've been up to. Nothing. You wasted away in some shitty apartment with a pointless job, while the rest of us were out there fighting to make a difference. <laughs> you are such an asshole. Are you thinking about hitting me again? Because this time, I will hit back. No, he's not worth it. Let's just get back to work, okay? No, oh, well, thanks. Sure, why not? Who cares? Hmm. This gun caused me problems, I see. Sean. Would you look at that? What is it? If I had to guess, I would say it's a counter. And judging from the iconography, I think it's safe to say when that's emptied, the end begins. Hello, Desmond. How's things? Same old. Another day, another ancestor. Who'd have thought you'd have a Templar in your family tree? I think he started out as an assassin. They must have turned him. Right you are, in fact. I've been reviewing our archives, and it appears that Haytham's father was indeed an assassin. Which means he was likely one too, at least for a little while. What else did you find? That fellow from the opera, Reginald Burge, Grand Master of the London Chapter of Templars, he and Haytham's father, a man named Edward, well, they were long-time rivals. Now, it appears Birch got his hands on Haytham at a rather young age. Worked his wiles to convince Haytham to switch sides. Wonder how he did it. I'll see if I can't dig up more. Hon honest answer, please, Desmond. Do you think we're getting out of this alive? I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty tall order. If the first Civ couldn't save the world, how the hell are we supposed to swing it? We have some time. We have less than two months. They had decades and You're a lot five. more resources. And the worst part is we knew this was coming for, what, hundreds of years? History repeats, it seems. The first Civ was so busy with their war against us, no one even noticed what was happening. We get advance warning and then fall to fighting with the Templars. Lovely. Hopefully, whatever's behind that door will make a difference. And if it doesn't, well, at least we tried. Back to work I go. You should consider doing the same. Alright, buddy, thanks. So. Huh, this is all very interesting. Yeah, I get it, Juno. You want me to go back in? Look at this, though. Amos is on a nice black rock. So much for comfort. Um, I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you all again next time.